Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem right away. X plus 3 to the power of 4 equals 16. Okay, so from here we know that x plus 3 here to the power of 4 can be written as x plus 3 to the power of 2 to the power of 2. Because if you are to remove these brackets, you multiply the powers. Now 4 to the power of 2 will be on the left, on the right hand side. And um, let's expand what we have here. So that we can have um, x plus 3 to the power of 2. If you have a plus b, both of them to the power of 2, then this will give us some um, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So that means in place of x plus 3 squared, we'll be having x squared plus 2ab becomes 2 times x times 3 and that is 6x then plus b squared which is 3 squared now right so I will write 3 squared and 3 squared is 9 so let me just write 9 right that's what we'll have in that bracket then we raise this to the power of 2 which is this one now everything is equal to 4 squared what if we bring everything to the same side then we have x squared plus 6x plus 9 to the power of 2 minus 4 to the power of 2 equals 0 now we can have difference of two squares so that um, if you have a squared minus b squared, you'll be having a plus b into a minus b. So I'm going to apply the same thing. And if I do that, then my a will be x squared plus 6x plus 9. Right, then plus my b, b is 4. So I'll write the 4 over there. This is what we have in the first bracket. Then in the second, in the second bracket, we'll have x squared plus 6x plus 9. And our b is 4, so we have minus 4. Then we equate to 0. Okay, so we continue. X plus 6, X plus 13. Because 9 plus 4 will give us 13, right? So we have 13 here. We close this. Then from here we have X squared plus 6X plus 5. Okay, because <clears throat> 9 minus 4 is 5, then we equate to 0. What do we do from here? We can say that it is either, okay, this is x squared. x squared plus 6x plus 13 equals 0. Or x squared plus 6x plus 5 equals zero so we have two quadratic equation we are going to pick them one after the other let's pick this um if we are going to pick this particular one our a is one our b is six and our c is 13. now what is the formula that we are going to use the formula is x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac then we divide all through by 2 times a now let's substitute into the formula x will now be minus 6 
plus or minus square root of 6 squared minus 4 times a times c and c is 13. Now the whole of this is over 2 times 1 because a is still 1. And now our x will be okay so we have um minus 6 plus or minus then we have 6 squared which will give 36 minus 4 times 1 times 13 will give us 52 right then we divide this by 2 so we'll continue from here okay so x is equal to minus 6 plus or minus if we subtract this we have minus 16 okay so we have um minus 16 and that will be over 2 now our x is equal to minus 6 plus or minus now square root of negative 16 will give us 4i okay because um the negative here will give us a complex solution so we divide by 2 2 can go into both numerators so our x will be minus 3 plus or minus 2i meaning that x is equal to minus 3 plus 2i minus 3 plus 2i or minus 3 minus 2i so we have the two values of x from the first quadratic expression right after we equated it to zero now let's go back to the other um equation let's call this quadratic equation now because we have equated it to zero and here it is from here again our a is one our b is six and our c is five the one that we did before our c is 13 and that is the only difference now x is equal to minus b plus or minus we have square root of b squared minus 4ac and then we divide by 2 times a now x is equal to minus b that is minus 6 plus or minus square root of 6 squared is here then minus 4 times a times 5 because our our c is 5 then we divide this by 2 times 1 now x is minus 6 plus or minus 6 squared is 36 minus 20 36 minus 20 and then we divide this by 2 to continue our x will be minus 6 plus or minus if we subtract this we have 16 then we divide by 2 meaning that x is equal to minus 16 plus 4 square root of 16 is 4 plus or minus 4 then we divide by 2 now 2 can go into both of them so that x is minus 3 plus or minus we now have um, 2 because 2 into minus 6 is minus 3 2 into 4 is 2 now we are saying that um, x is equal to minus 3 plus 2 okay or minus 3 minus 2 okay but then we can simplify this so that x will be equal to minus 3 minus minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1 or minus 3 minus 2 is minus 5 so from here we have um, two more solutions for the equation and here we had two before 
thank you for watching if you enjoyed the method i used then subscribe to my channel for more of this